Today's video is made possible by Hulu Plus. For a free extended two week trial, head over to huluplus.com slash TLD. Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD. Hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. I am back with surprisingly a video that I don't think I've ever officially done before. And that is a what is on my Mac video. Now the reason I decided to do this video is because lately there are two specific questions that I've been getting asked super often. That is one, what is the monitor tool that you use to check all the information on your Mac, which you guys are looking at right here. And the second is what program do you use to edit your videos? So I will cover those two questions and also show you a few other applications that I use to help me with my workflow. So kicking off the video, what I use to monitor all the information on my Mac is called iStat Menus 4. I'll have a link down below. You can actually try it for free for 14 days on their website. This is the fourth edition. It costs 16 bucks to buy. To me, it's worth every penny. But if you're kind of skeptical and it's a little bit too pricey, you can try it out for 14 days, like I mentioned. So this will give you a breakdown from everything from the system temperatures to your network info, to your memory, to your hard drive, and even your CPU. For example, if we head over to the sensor tab, not only will it tell us how hot the actual computer is running, but it'll give us a breakdown of every single part within the Mac Pro. So we got information on both GPUs, the SSD, the fan, not only for the current speeds, but actually for the last hour, 24 hours, and even seven days. Jumping over to the memory tab, you can see right here, it'll tell us how much is allotted to each program for the hard drive. This is the stock boot SSD in the Mac Pro. And you can see, I gotta make some space pretty soon because I got that sucker pretty full. You can also see external drives. So for example, here is my G-Ray Thunderbolt drive and hopping over to the CPU section, this will show you how much each program is taxing your computer. So I am recording this with ScreenFlow and you can see that's actually a pretty light program. It's not taking too much out of the computer processing. Now this being a six core Mac Pro, if you look right here, there's actually 12 cores that show up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That is because each core has two threads. So the OS will actually see and utilize it as a 12 core machine. There's also information on the video card as well. So you can see we are rocking Twin Fire Pro D500s. Again, this is iStat Menus 4. You do have a 14 day free trial if you guys wanna check it out. I will have it linked down below. So jumping over to the next question of what program do I use to edit my videos? And that of course is Final Cut Pro 10. So we'll go ahead and open it up. Got it down in the dock right here. And I know a lot of people seem to have jumped ship to Adobe Premiere Pro. I've actually been with Final Cut since Final Cut Pro 7, jumped on a 10 as soon as it came out and I've stuck with it ever since. And honestly, it's gotten better with each update every single time. Now, ultimately it really comes down to what you are comfortable with and what makes you most productive and efficient. And for me, that is Final Cut Pro 10. So what you're looking at is a project of the Mac Pro unboxing I did recently. If you guys happen to miss that, I will have it linked down below. And I just wanna show you a few tools that I use on a regular basis that help me with my style. So I'm gonna take you through one clip right here. And this is actually all handheld. There's no rig, there's no stabilization aside from the actual lens. And there's actually a few tricks that help me obtain this shot. So if I zoom in a little closer, we're gonna press Command R. That's gonna actually show that I slowed it down to 75% as opposed to 100%. And I actually also have stabilization and optical flow turned on. So if we turn all that off and we actually look at that clip again, let's go ahead and put it back to 100% normal play it again and you will notice it's not terrible but it's definitely not as smooth as the previous one so we'll go ahead and command z that get back to the original state turn stabilization on play it one more time and you can see right there that is a much much nicer shot and that is all built within final cut pro 10. now another aspect of final cut pro 10 that i really enjoy is the magnetic timeline and just to give you an idea of how that works let me go ahead and zoom out to give you a broader perspective of the project and say i delete this clip right here Everything's actually gonna shift over as opposed to leaving a blank gap right there. So you can see everything jumps over, put it back, take it out and it jumps back over. So some people like this, some people don't. I actually prefer it and it helps me with my workflow. And I'm also comfortable with the color tools within Final Cut Pro 10. Color correcting is a completely different beast compared to editing. So I'm nowhere where I wanna be, but I'm definitely having fun learning and always looking to improve. So just to give you guys another example of what you can do, we're gonna go back to this clip again. And if you notice, I actually have two layers of color correction. So let's go ahead and turn the entire thing off. So it's a little dull, not as vibrant as if we turned it back on. And I actually have two layers like I talked about. So what I did was I actually applied a little mask to the uh, grass right there. So you can use this little dropper tool right here, pull out all the green. And then from there, we can tweak that without actually changing the entire picture. So if we head over to the color correction tab, what I did was pull up the global levels for the green. And obviously if we're gonna go red, it's gonna add some red. But since this is grass, it's green, we're gonna pull up the green levels. And you can see what happens if we pull it down, it brings all that color out, it's a lot duller. And then we bring it back to life by pulling that up ever so slightly. 
We could also crank up the saturation just a little bit. And we can also bring down the shadows just a little bit to make it a little more enhanced. So obviously this isn't a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, but hopefully you learned a trick or two and also got a little more insight on how I edit my videos. So next up, we're gonna take a look at a utility that I've been using recently that is called Better Snap Tool, which is $1.99 in the Mac App Store. I'll have a link to that and everything else that I covered in this video down below. Now this demo is also gonna give you a closer look at Keynote, which I use all the freaking time. I use it for my comparisons, for my benchmarks, for my charts. It's a really simple and easy to navigate program. And you can see you get some really clean and classy looking slides. So I would wholeheartedly recommend this application. Now getting back to the Better Snap Tool, I'm actually gonna hop up to the Preferences tab. This will actually give you a visualization of how it works. You have different corners. So you can snap to the top left, to the top, to the right, etc. So if you notice down here, it'll actually ask you if you're using Better Snap Tool with spaces or mission control. If we click that, it'll actually give us a custom line that we can paste into Terminal that'll create a two second delay. That way it doesn't interfere with that. So if we Command C, copy that and actually open up Terminal. I actually already have this enabled. So what I'm gonna do now is reverse it just to show you what problem that might happen if you didn't do this. Command V for paste. And right there is two seconds right now. So I'm actually gonna get that down to zero seconds just to show you what happens if you don't have this enabled. Zero, enter, got some notifications going on. And now, for example, if we grab this right here and we dragged it over, it's not gonna let me do it. It just jumps right back and forth. So that is a problem. I am having a heck of a time getting it back there. So again, I'm gonna copy the original text right here, open up terminal again, paste that in, enter, and now we have a two second delay. So now if we do that, snap it and we are good to go. Now, if you notice, this might not be the most optimal setup for me with Keynote. So let me go ahead and close out of this guy and this guy. And maybe I want a little bit more space right here. So let's go ahead and drag this over can actually create custom windows for this. So that looks about right for me. What I'm gonna do is head up to the tab again, snap areas, which is an advanced feature, create new snap area. It'll actually show you the outline of the desired position you want. If that is right, go ahead and click on it. You can actually choose where you wanna move the engagement window. So for this, maybe I wanna put it right here. You can actually title it. As you notice, I have Safari to the right of that. I'm gonna call this Keynote. Exit out of there and we can press Command W to exit. That is loud, loud noises. And if I drag it up here now, so let's go ahead and actually just mess this up. Bam, and now that is the perfect window layout for me with Keynote. I can take this over here, drag it to the top left. Bam, and that is not optimal. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with that. Line it up like so. Same thing we did there, snap areas. We're gonna to go to a new snap area. Again, that is the perfect layout for me. So we're gonna go and click on it. Go ahead and pick our area again. Let's go to make this the right hand side right here. We can go to make this smaller. Command W. Loud noises again, I apologize for that. So again, if this were messed up and all funky, I can drag that over to this section and bam, it is perfect. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gave you a little deeper look at the programs that I use on a day-to-day -day basis that help me with my workflow. This video was a little more focused on Final Cut Pro 10 simply because I get that question all the time. I think if I do future videos like this, it will be a little more focused on new and useful apps. So if you guys are interested in seeing something like that, let me know by hitting that like button. Now, before I hop out of here, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to Hulu Plus for helping support the channel and helping me create videos like this one. Now, I know most of you guys being on the interwebs know what Hulu is, but Hulu Plus ramps up the awesome and it's kinda of like upgrading to an HD screen on your smartphone or tablet for the first time. With Hulu Plus, you can catch up on the entire season of currently airing shows. You can watch old favorites or even a movie. You can stream as many TV shows or movies as you want anytime, anywhere. So whether that's your PS4, your Xbox One, your Roku, Hulu Plus has a huge selection of shows like Saturday Night Live, Jimmy Kimmel, and of course, Shark Tank. They also feature exclusive original content like Behind the Mask and The Wrong Man's, and they were nice enough to reach out to me and offer those who watch TLD a free extended two-week trial by heading over to HuluPlus.com TLD. 
Now, a lot of you ask, how can you help support the channel? This is a super simple and easy way to do that. It allows us to put out the best possible content that we can and you score a killer deal at the same time. Make sure to use that link down below to let them know what we sent you. So again, thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any questions or requests for future videos like this one, definitely let me know in the comment down below. And if you have not checked it out yet, I recently compared the top end quad core 27 inch iMac against the six core Mac Pro. They could be surprised by the results. Go ahead and click that right here. And I'll have it linked down below just in case you are watching on a mobile device. Again, this is Jonathan with TLD and I will see you guys later.